Now to the couple in second place. Huge rivals, of course, of Sinitsina and Katalapov. A switching of partners this year after Elena and Nikita finished in the silver medal or bronze medal position in the Olympic Games. Here they are in second place going into the free. Elena Ilinik, Ruslan Zhiganshin. speed on those twizzles but there the leg extension giving you a chance to see them just go off towards the end of that first set of twizzles What drama.
Huge chemistry between them. Only the second time they've skated. And they really are linking up very well indeed. It's going to be tight, but they have a, a capital margin over Coombs and Buckland from the short, so don't expect any moving up from the Brits. But uh, what a pair these two have... Uh, well, you'd think they've been skating together for years. You would indeed, yeah. Penny and Nick are about three and a half points behind going into this, so it's unlikely that they're able to finish ahead. But I tell you what, I would have, uh, I would have them ahead on the day. For me, this was a, a really good program, but it didn't have the polish that the Brits had. There were many times through that program where the free leg extension wasn't matching and they, they weren't as one. And you can understand that as they are a new partnership. And uh, you've got to be hypercritical when it gets to this level. But uh, for me, Penny and Nick had the edge on these two today. We'll have to see. I don't think they'll, they'll have enough to to move up a place, but I wouldn't be surprised if they finished ahead in the, in the free dance. It would be great to see. This was a great program, though. Fourth last week in the Cup of China. But it's going to be a podium place, that's for sure, for these two here. And you wouldn't rule them out of uh, winning a medal at, at Worlds. No, I think they're going to get better and better. There's no doubt about that. It looks to me as though they've had spent more time on the short dance, been able to polish that short dance up a little bit more. You can just see the, the shot at the end of those twizzles where the, the unison disappeared. And a couple of dicey moments on the lifts, transitions. It's, things didn't look smooth and polished to me. But there's no doubting the chemistry between these two. I tell you what, I wish she'd clean her boots. Spend all that money on the dress and come out with a tatty old pair of skates on. I can't believe you said that. Well, it's true, they spend hundreds yeah. on the dress. Yeah. Bit That's of true. boot polish, wouldn't go amiss. Yeah. Silly me, I wasn't looking at her boots. No, surprise there. So, on the free, it'd be interesting. Coombs and Buckland got 98.47. Have they done better than that on the free? We think the margin from the short in their favour will be uh, decisive. But have they extended that lead? Well, they gave it their best shot. There's no doubt about that. Don't think they could have done much more at this stage. The judge is taking a long time. They, they may be reviewing things, timing those lifts. Were there any deductions in there? Remember, Penny and Nick got a one-point deduction probably for an extended lift here we go then it's just good enough sure enough they didn't beat Coombs and Buckland on the free second place on the free and that margin that they had from the short holds them up just yeah that's what I thought I, I, I would have had it that way so even more good news for Coombs and Buckland, but they're the leaders at the moment.